I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Slim said. Drowning the lights while I stare. I've been on vacation too long. Nay, girl, I'm solo in here. They show me love of the year. Let champagne rain from the clouds. While she blow smoke in the air. Drowning the lights while I stare. I've been on vacation too long. Nay, girl, I'm solo in here. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with the latest content. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Um, just came off of that B Dot versus Saga recap. Um, I still feel like it's the front runner for Battle of the Year. B Dot versus Saga, an amazing battle. Um, Sue Surf, make sure you kill me. Album just dropped. Uh, I think it's number four on iTunes right now. A uh, pretty dope project. I listen to it front and back. You know what I mean? Um, it's a bonus track at the end. I love Sue Surf's music. What he's able to do musically is fire. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I definitely dug the project. He got a track with Jim Jones. He got a track with Benny the Butcher. Uh, he's putting together some really good music. Remember that. Um, make sure you check it out. Let me know if you have checked it out. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? In the comments, you dig, you dig, you dig. But um, I'm definitely feeling it. Um, the, he got a joint, Nana Crib, uh, Care For Who You Love, Love For Who You Care, I love that joint. Uh, he's got the intro, which is fire, and this is all, this is all, this is all freestyle. Cold Winners with Dave East, no notes here, we cooking, are we cooking? Simmer down, I'm gonna get to it, that's just that simmer sound. Simmer down, motherfucker, simmer down. Okay, 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 okay. So I know what you're here for. I know what you're here for. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time. Daylight, salute to Daylight and everything that he has going on personally and professionally with the music. He's got a track called Pig's Feet, which is fire. He's on a track, he's got a verse on a track called Pig's Feet that I actually heard on a random title playlist one day. I was listening to the title and um the track just came on. Um it was him and a bunch of other MCs and he was wild. Oh man, with a pig's win, pig man, pig man, like he was, he was bucking. Um, he's coming back to battle rap again. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but this time looks like it's on a big card, big stage. Gnome Ten, um, salute to URL and everything that they got going on. Uh, but daylight is returning. Um, we spoke. Uh, he hit me up on Twitter one day, and we spoke just pretty much back and forth real quick. And he had let me know that he was gonna battle, but the thing is, daylight, I be taking his. Sh with a grain of salt sometimes, so when he said it, I didn't say anything, you know what I'm saying? I just was, we, we communicated a little bit, and I was like, for real? Like, like, for real? And, um, you know, he, he just told me what he was up to as far as with the music and what his, what he was trying to do or whatever the case may be, but, um, it looks like, okay, 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 he's battling on July 11th, uh, from what I've been hearing, Gnome is going to be really like a smaller room event anyway. So the stage wouldn't really be that big of an obstacle. You know what I'm saying? Like what I got to do, it's logical. You know what I'm saying? But um, he's been one that's been known to march to the beat of his own drum for some time. Uh, amazing bars. Uh, we know the antics with Daylight. We know the cadence. We know, but lyrically, when he's in his bag, he's one of the best. Uh, he's one of the most talented MCs, but he hasn't been battling like that. From what I heard, he wasn't battling like that because of the music, but then there's other factors that play into it also, and now you have him returning. So, okay, against who? Against who? You know what I'm saying? Who is he battling against? That, that's, what, that's the number one question that a lot of people have been answering. So, people are at, is he battling Loaded Lux? Excuse me. If you ask, again, is Daylight battling Loaded Lux? Well, I have an L for you. If you did not know, if you did not know, Loaded Lux is battling Sue Surf that night. Loaded Lux is not battling two people the same night. Like, are you kidding me? The L just fell. What the hell? But oh well. Um, 
He's not battling two people the same night. So that's not that's, that's that's definitely off the table. You can forget that. But he used to battle on the roof and the loser would have to jump. So um he's not battling two people the same night, so we can cross that off the board. Um other people that you could possibly take into consideration, take into consideration. I would use some deductive reasoning and think that there's a couple of MCs who would fit the bill for a daylight to battle in a smaller room setting. You gotta have bars. You gotta have bars. Um, I'd remove K Shine because I feel like K Shine um, is pretty much locked in with Pat Stay. Um, obviously, Sue Surf and Lux is what they're doing. He's already battled a Mike P. Um, I would, there's, there's about three MCs who I who would quickly cross my mind. Um, New Jersey Twerk being one, I, I, I could see that, but I'm not, I'm cold on that one. I don't think that that's what that would be. I think Twerk would get somebody with bigger energy, um, uh, for that situation. Be based off what he can do, you know what I'm saying, when he's at his A game. I know at times he thinks I hate him, but I, I love Twerk. I mean, he can do what he do, you know what I'm saying, but... I'm not light on people as far as with the expectation. If I feel like you should be performing up here and you're performing down here, it's, it is what it is. But that's another story. Uh, I heard he did really good versus Danny Myers, so he'll get his fair, honest recap when that battle drops. But salute to him and everything that he has going on. Um, so I don't think it's him. Uh, Tayrock is one that I think it could be, but there's no guarantee because uh, Tayrock could potentially take somebody else with a bigger name. Now, him and Tayrock had had have had back and forth, and me and him have spoke about it, and me and Tayrock have spoke about him bat them two potentially battling. We've had these conversations. I spoke with Tayrock when I um, went to Maryland and interviewed him uh, last year sometime, and I spoke to Daylight about this because Daylight actually saw the interview. Okay, 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 okay. And he sent me the clip like, no, nah, this is not true. This is what happened. Woo, 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 woo. But I really didn't choose to like dig into it because the reason why is like I said, sometimes what Daylight says, you have to take with a grain of salt because I know he trolls and I know he does, you know what I'm saying, antics and things like that. So I didn't want to be one that would be broadcasting something that was supposed to be happening, but it never did. Okay, okay, okay. Um, to the Batmobile. But uh, him, I think Tay Rock could potentially be one. But I don't know because I know Tay Rock on these type of cards usually takes the more glamorous name. I think it'll probably be more likely a New Jersey twerking Tay Rock. Tay Rock. That's more of a, you know, that's more of a pay the bills kind of battle. That's the billing. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the way things work. And um, Rum Nitty. Uh, I think I've been hearing some buzzes, and I think Rum Nitty could potentially be an opponent. Because small room monster, Rum Nitty is a small room monster, bar for bar, punch for punch, and now he's added a little performance to his shit, line for line. I think that would probably want be one of the better ones because we all know what he's capable of doing, and Daylight doesn't need he doesn't need a too much of a reintroduction. Like he needs to go right back into top level competition because he's a top level competitor it's not like we're not doing this like daylight is washed up or anything you know what i'm saying like he's we still know that he can go at the highest level in this and i think that if he's being reintroduced if him and url have worked out whatever they've had going on that he needs to go right back in right back in you know what i'm saying get the back end but going back in you know like pulling out the parkway driveway going you back in um but i feel like he he could definitely he's definitely able to still do this at this level i know he's doing the music thing and um hopefully that takes off you know i don't know what his situation is but he told me when we spoke that he's done crazy numbers with the music you know what i'm saying like he's doing phenomenal with that and i appreciate and i applaud him for that and for the communication that we do have you know what i'm saying um he did not tell me his opponent i didn't ask him the reason why is because even if he did tell me, I wouldn't say it like, out, boom, he's battling against whoever. Um, I just went with my own reasoning.
because that's how I like to uh, to do it and pick my own thought, pick my own brain. Like, oh, he should be battling this person or that person. But I've heard a lot of daylight rumors. Shit, he was supposed to be battling Loaded Lux in um, 2020. Remember that? Before uh, COVID, they was talking to each other. They were saying they was going to get the battle done. I don't know if that's still a thing because obviously the whole 2020 has been shifted. Like, things have dramatically changed. Um, so we'll see. So that's my three. I think uh, could be Twerk, could be Tay Rock, could be Rum Nitty, or could be somebody else. Who, who the fuck knows? I mean, we're like the, uh, when it comes to the blogs and shit, we're like the weatherman, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we consistently get things wrong, and, you know, it is what it is. I mean, like, we'll never get everything right, but uh, I think that to see Daylight back in the ring is exciting for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Um, will the Batmobile be ready? Hopefully he brings, uh, the content is already gonna be crazy. You guys already know. I mean, one of the last battles that I saw with him was him versus uh, Ill Will. And I happened to um, actually be there for that RBE event. And they both went crazy. Daylight, is daylight. And I saw him battle Bangs. Um, so I've got to see him battle twice um in person him versus bangs and him versus uh ill will and he he goes crazy every time you know what i mean so we're gonna see what it is but uh salute to everybody who peeped the saga versus beat out recap that recap is still out um it's doing phenomenal people are loving it i've been getting a lot of comments a lot of you know people talking about it um let me know you guess in the comments guess in these comments who he's battling and what the reason is and why you think you know what i'm saying let's see what y'all See what y'all do. And other than that, RiceGameClothing.com, log on for the merchandise. You heard me right. We still got a couple more orders. Um, we sent some out this week. We got some more that's going to go out. Respect the process. Trust the process. And it's going down. You dig? Ha ha. Ra. Vegas. Better act like you go Vegas. 